Hi everybody, Anna Morfides here with Many Hearts Counseling and I wanted to welcome you all back to my channel and I wanted to talk a little bit about fear today. Um, I touched a bit upon it in my last video and I just wanted to not only remind myself but remind all of us that we are um, actually born immersed in the complete opposite feeling of fear. We are born to love unconditionally. We're born to give and receive unconditional love. It is um, what is innately living within us and fear is just something that we acquire um, through living based on circumstances that took place in our household, our town, our country, the world even. And just in the same way that we acquire fear and fearful thoughts, we can um, let go of them. I have to say I quite enjoy myself a lot more these days when I do not operate from fear-based thoughts. It is really nice to know how they came about to be in the first place. It is really nice to know that um, fear sometimes is just instilled um, through life experiences. It's not something that we are predominantly meant to have and carry with us. And we can change all that. Uh, the way that I was able to change my fears and my thoughts that um, stemmed from fear uh, is actually through meditation. I quite enjoyed the silence and I quite enjoyed my ability to connect to my higher self, the higher power, um, some call it intuition. It's this um, source of energy that is so abundant and so informative and so stable that is um, available to us at all times. And our mind, which carries the fearful thoughts, can connect to it just as easy as our body does. So our body connects to that higher power, that intuition, all day, every day. Um, for example, if you hurt yourself and you have a cut, your body connects to that source of energy and it knows to start the healing process. If you just finish eating a meal, your body will automatically start going into the um, digestion uh, process. You don't even have to think about it. It's completely automatic. There is something else that is... Uh, controlling these reactions and just in the same way that our body can connect with intuition so can our mind and now that we understand how much the body and the mind are connected our thoughts can literally shape the way that we feel physically and now that we also know that a thought is a thought and a thought can be changed we can also uh, change our fear-based thoughts and really be a witness to them as opposed to experiencing them so when you become a witness to your thought you are able to be looking at them objectively as opposed to being the subject of that um, feeling and emotion and through meditation, we're able to do that. Through meditation, we are able to sort of um, separate ourselves from those thoughts. And we are now able to view them from a different angle. Like we are the viewer of the thought as opposed to being that fearful thought. And then we can examine it. Then we can see if it actually is true. We can see if that actually is what is taking place we can see if that is um, rational it allows us to think about it from a place of being in our window of tolerance when we are a subject of um of, of fear then we cannot um look at it objectively when we are the subject of an emotion, we are experiencing it. And sometimes that takes us out of our window of tolerance. So then we can not not use our rational mind. Um, so we want to be in our window of tolerance. And by being in our window of tolerance, we can witness our um, fearful thoughts and we can actually examine them and we can untwist them many different methods to um, untwist 
fearful based thoughts that are non-serving. Um, with cognitive behavioral therapy, for example, it is a very highly structured um, modality, but it works and it can uh, be used very easily, just a few minutes perhaps in the morning, you just spent on twisting your thoughts and um, sitting in silence and just witnessing what is um, happening in your mind. It is a great way to start your day. It is a great way of knowing that you can beat fear. And it's um, so great to also know that we are not born immersed in fear. It's something that we just acquire so we can just um, let it go. I have really enjoyed who I have become um, due to my uh, diligence and my practice in meditation and really witnessing what my thoughts are, um, doing the work to um, untwist the ones that are not serving me and are um, very much fear-based. And they have become now fleeting thoughts. They're not ones that dominate um, my everyday life. Like they still exist, but I'm able to just allow them to pass, um, just like cars passing on a highway. I just watch them go by. I don't actually crash into them and experience them and feel them. That doesn't happen anymore. And I have to thank the power of meditation for providing that relief for me. And um, there are so many other uh, spiritual teachers and doctors and um, founders of um, things such as uh, the center called Unplug. I've actually read um, Susan Yaloff's book. She is the founder of the uh, space in New York that it's called Unplug and you literally, like it's almost like a gym, but it's like a place where you go to meditate. You go to Unplug, Unplug from your thoughts, especially the ones that are non-serving. They, There is a way to get rid of them and it's um, just really nice to know that you can do this for yourself. If you need any sort of um, guidance or help and support in order to be able to do so, um, please, as always, do reach out to me. I always love hearing from you. I love hearing your comments, questions, concerns. Uh, this is a safe space for everyone. I welcome it all. And I am just so grateful to be here and be able to share my, I don't want to say fearless self with me, but a self that operates from a less fear-based cognition and operates more from an unconditional love cognition. Cognition is like the what is presently taking place within like my thinking style and my thinking patterns and my ability to express myself. And I just wanted to um, know that I wanted to share the knowing that you can um, all have this because that's what we were born with and we experience traumas and other trials and tribulations through our lifetime. But as we become adults, we acquire knowledge and we acquire understanding. And we now know that we can um, just be different. And with that, I think I'm going to end my video here. And I am wishing you all a fearless rest of your day and just really invite you to um, become a witness to what your thoughts are and really do examine and untwist them. And yeah, see if they, how valid they actually are. And um, I hope that you have a blessed rest of your day and I look forward to meeting you in my next video.